Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome to Jim's 5am club. You can tell that I'm a creature of habit because once again I come to you from this magnificent vantage point up here on the Car Hill walkway. It's a glorious day. The, uh, the breeze looks like it's a north easterly, easterly sort of breeze today. And it's a, an awesome spring day. It's Friday, it's the Friday before the long weekend. And there's a lot more people about. The great news is, is that with school holidays, with the fact that we've had zero cases for about five or six days now of COVID-19, people are starting to get a little bit more confident and uh, are out and about and the city is starting to get back a bit of the vibe, a bit of that beautiful Sydney vibe, which we've been missing for quite a few months now. But uh, yeah, COVID's been a bit of a bully. It's been a bit of a bully in our lives. I don't know if it's a real bully or if it's a make-believe bully, but uh, what I might do today is uh, have a bit of a walk and talk and chat to you about a topic which I've got near and dear to my heart. And the topic that I choose to talk about today is bullying. Given uh, that we've had COVID-19 and the media making sure that we're all living in absolute fear, uncertainty and doubt. But uh, this too shall pass, as we always hear. Uh, this is only uh, a temporary sort of uh, issue that we've got and um, the good thing is is that uh, testing is becoming a lot more efficient and effective with tests now instead of taking 24 hours or 36 hours or a week can be done instantly on the spot to tell you whether or not you've got COVID-19 so that's going to make travelling and all the other things that we normally do a lot easier. But uh, I also got to mention something which is of great concern to me. That I heard that in Greece, COVID-19 tests, you need to pay for them yourself. And they cost a massive 80 euro for the test. So... Uh, do you think people will be getting tested in Greece for COVID-19? Probably not, because 80 euro um, in a budget, which you know many people only make 400 euro a month, is a massive amount of money. It's a huge amount of money. So uh, spare a thought, spare a thought for all those people in Greece and the fact that they need to spend a heap of money in order to get tested for COVID-19. Anyway, let's turn our attention to bullying now that we've got the Collaroy coming in and uh, pushing all that white water forward. One thing that I learnt many, many years ago when I was uh, a martial artist doing karate, Goju-Ru karate, being an instructor, being a referee, and uh, really getting into it to uh, a level which uh, made me proud. I learnt one thing which was very, very important. And the, the, the lesson that I learnt is that bullies come in one size. Bullies come in one size, and that is uh, a big size. So if you're going to get bullied, you're not going to get bullied by somebody who thinks that they're weaker than you. You're going to get bullied by somebody who thinks that they've got the, uh, the wood on you. Somebody who's either bigger than you or is part of a pack. It's something to consider. You're not going to get bullied by uh, a weakling. You're going to get bullied by somebody who thinks that they're stronger are stronger or are surrounded by people who support them, who have an amount of strength. But the other good thing that I've learnt 
over my life and over time is that bullies are, are, are cowards and if you stand up to them you uh, you see very very quickly that they're all bluff they're all hot air and they're uh, people who are basically um, not all that strong at all I remember years ago listening to a friend of mine another martial artist who said he was somewhere and uh, a fellow said step outside thinking that he was going to take take him outside and uh, give him a hiding and my friend said to him mate I don't step outside for anybody to fight I'm a here and now sort of person I need an audience so you're welcome to throw the first punch because I need an audience in order to humiliate you in public and rip you apart to which the bully quickly bit on his tongue and changed subjects. So uh, the bottom line here is that you need to take on bullies head on and uh, don't fall prey to the fear, uncertainty of doubt that they portray and to reveal them, reveal to them the cowardice and the weakling, the weak that they are and to not fall prey to anybody remembering we don't bend down, we don't kneel down to anything and anybody except God and at the end of the day the other thing that I've learned is that uh, if you do get into an altercation what's the worst that can happen to you at the end of the day human beings from what I've been able to learn through my martial arts have a tremendous ability to absorb a lot of physical punishment so uh, unless the other person has a, a weapon a knife or some sort of weapon then uh, chances are that uh, regardless of who you are you are able to stand up to anybody and know that you're able to cop whatever you need to cop in order to maintain your dignity your strength and to protect your family I've got to be honest with you even though I've spent many years doing martial arts I'm 60 years of age and I'm proud to say that I have never ever had a fight I've never needed to have a fight and as Sun Tzu talks about in his Art of War he says the fight the altercation that is avoided is the fight that you will always be the victor in so how do we use this the way we use it is twofold we need to understand that a we mustn't fear bullies and we, not, we mustn't submit to bullies and secondly that to avoid altercation altogether is probably the best thing to do but if you're pushed to a point where you have no other choice but to uh, defend yourself then you must switch to all systems to go and to uh, pancake the nose to the face as quickly and uh, as often as you need to so don't be afraid to defend yourself physically emotionally spiritually because times will come where people will test you and this is the biggest lesson to all people to all young people you will have people testing you all the time and if you are if you don't push back if you don't take a stance and show them that you're a ferocious lion 
even though you're behaved and, uh, um, and in control, they will continue the bullying. So make a stand, tell them in no, no uncertain terms that their comments, their bullying is unwelcomed. And if they continue, then you take action. It's very, very simple. So uh, taking advice from Sun Tzu, in his book, he also mentioned that when you're weak, feign strength. So if you're weak, if you feel weak and your opponent appears to be strong, then you need to, uh, to feign uh, strength to push them off. But the most beautiful thing of all, he said, that if you are strong, if you are confident of your abilities and capabilities, then you need to feign weakness to not uh, incite um, challenges from others. But if they do come your way, then you get to deal with them in no uncertain terms. Anyway, that's a bit, that's a funny topic, it's a tricky topic, but it's a topic, it's a white elephant in the room, and we need to, uh, to discuss it and bring it out into the open. Because we live in a world which is uh, characterized by bullying. And as I said, either the individual who's bullying you is strong, thinks that they're strong, or hunt in packs and have people around them that are strong. Once again, another message, the final message that I have to give is that if you are confronted by a gang or a group and there's the one bully, the one term that I've learnt over the years is strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. So don't worry about everybody else, just focus on the big mouth. The one who's making the claims, who's leading the bullying, he's the biggest coward of all, or she, and if you sort them out, you've got everybody else sorted out. Anyway, let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel great. And I'm on fire. It's Friday, Friday before the long weekend, and I can't wait to get out and about with my family and make the most of this weekend. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and most importantly of all, don't submit to bullying. Deal with it on a case-by-case -case basis and you'll be surprised with what you can achieve by being yourself and being uh, and being strong. Yasas and toot 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 to you as well. Enjoy the rest of the day and until we chat again I'll come to you again from another beautiful place tomorrow with hopefully another empowering message to, uh, to allow us all to grow and develop and to share our experiences and knowledge and to be better off because of it. Yasas and bye for now.